Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be doing a benchmark comparison of these two Samsung NVMe M.2 SSDs. On the top, I have the 980, and on the bottom, I have the 970 Evo Plus. I'll be testing these drives in this Acasis USB 4.0 enclosure, and this was provided to me by Acasis for a previous video, but they have no association with this video. So if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description of this hardware, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I'm going to install these in the enclosure, and then I'll get started. Okay, so I have the first drive plugged in. It's the 970 Evo. I'll open up Black Magic Speed Test. I'll go to the gear here and I'll choose the drive. I'll hit open and I'll start the test. So this is a newly formatted drive. It is formatted as APFS. So our write speed is 1278 and our read speed is around 2800. Okay, so I'll stop that. I'll eject this and then I'll install the 980. Okay, the 980 is mounted. I'll go to the gear. I'll start the test. So here we have the writes at 1900. And the reads are at about 1800. So as you can see in this benchmark that the write speeds are a lot higher on the 980 but the read speeds are a lot slower. So this is just an artificial benchmark. Depending on your application, one drive may be better than the other. So I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to copy some large files to my internal SSD, and then we'll copy them onto the external SSD, and we'll time that. Okay, I have these files copied over. I'm going to open up a terminal. I'll move to the desktop, and I'll go into the ISO folder I created. So I have around 19 gigabytes of files. The first thing I'm going to do is copy these to dev null. So I'll type cat asterisk greater than forward slash dev forward slash null. So this will read them from the hard drive and dump them to null, which is kind of like a trash bin. It goes to pretty much nothing, but this way it will potentially load the files into a buffer. Now I could run this test multiple times, but I'm doing this to kind of preload any cache. So when I run it on the two systems, it's more or less equal. Now I'll type time space CP space asterisk space forward slash volumes forward slash 980. I'll hit enter and we'll let that copy the files. Okay, that happened in nine seconds. I also had a thermal image on the screen. So now I'm going to eject this drive and I'll put the other drive in and we'll run the same test. Okay, so I'm going to run the test again, although this time the drive name is different, so I'll enter that. So that took 14 seconds. So the 980 was quite a bit faster in the write speeds, which is what we saw on the benchmark. So now I'm going to read from the SSD. I'll do a similar command like I did before. I'll type time space cat space forward slash volumes forward slash 970 evo forward slash asterisk space greater than space forward slash dev forward slash null. This way we can read those files, but isolate just the SSD speed. I'll hit enter. So that read in six seconds. I'll eject this, I'll put the other SSD in and we'll do a read speed on it. Okay, the drive's mounted. I'll run the second test.
and that took 6.4 seconds to read. So on these four files that totaled around 19 gigabytes, the 980 was quite a bit faster on the writes at 9 seconds, the Evo was a little slower at 14.4 seconds, and on the read test they were approximately the same speed, with the Evo looks like it was just slightly faster. So it's hard to test every single situation you would want to use these SSDs in. As of the time I'm filming this, the 980 is quite a bit cheaper than the 970 Evo, so that would probably be the better option for most people. So I also put some thermal camera images up during those tests. I don't know what they tell you about these drives, but it gives you something to look at. So which drive should you get? Being that the Samsung 980 is quite a bit cheaper than the 970 Evo Plus, I would probably go with that drive. There could be applications where the 970 Evo Plus is faster, but if you have very specialized needs, you probably want to do your own testing. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.